Hello and welcome again everyone. This is Chris back with another video. Today we're going to be going over and I'm showing you step-by-step -step guide on how to unlock the Nextbit Robin bootloader. So I did the Xiaomi Redmi Note 4 in my previous video and now I'm going to show you how to do it on your Robin. Um, so first we're going to need a few things. We're going to need to of course download and install your Robin USB drivers and also get the ADB fast boot set up on your system as well. I've already done that, so I won't um, be going through that, um, but I'll leave the links down in the description where you can um, get all of the files and install them. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is, on your Robin itself, we're gonna need to enable developer, developer options, just like we did on the um, Redmi Note 4. Alright, so build build number. We're going to go ahead and multi tap that about six times or so. Then developer options. And do you see where we have USB debugging? Go ahead and turn that on. You can already tell, so much easier. And then also we need to allow for OEM unlocking. Go ahead and enter your PIN. All right, it's gonna prompt you just basically giving you a warning. We're gonna enable. All right, if we don't do that, then the unlocking process will not work. Now what we're gonna go ahead and do is take your USB cable, plug it into your phone. And now where you have your ADB fast boot um, interface setup, go ahead and shift right click, open command window here. We're gonna go ahead and type in ADB devices. It's gonna take a second and a prompt will come up on your next bit, Robin. Do you want to allow um, this computer basically to communicate with your phone? We're gonna check and click on okay. And now if we do ADB devices again, we see that it does come up here. So your computer now is communicating with your phone via ADB. So that's what we want, perfect. Now what we're gonna need to do is do the uh, the unlocking, we need to get to fast boot. So what we can, we can do that two different ways. Usually ADB is much faster, you don't have to do anything with the device. So you just do ADB reboot bootloader phone will reboot into fast boot as you can see here fast boot mode now unlocking the bootloader will wipe your phone so if you have anything on your phone um, back your phone up any um, pictures let's say any files you may have downloaded wallpapers that sort of thing back them up um, whether it be your Google Drive um, thumb drive to your computer do that first <laughs> otherwise you're gonna lose everything you're not gonna be able to get it back so now we need to actually unlock the bootloader now that we're in fast boot here. So because there's been um, back before they before Nextbit transferred the forms over to the Razer um, site, people were having issues um, with in fast boot. Um, so what you have to do, I'm going to show you how you're going to do this without having to go and run into any issues. It's going to be best. Otherwise, you're going to possibly not, it's not going to work right. So what you're going to go ahead and do is type in fastboot dash I, because this is going to be looking for a specific um, device ID. And you're going to go ahead and type in the device ID here. So 0x2c3f, that's specific for the next bit Robin. And if we do devices, we can see that our Robin is in fast boot and it is communicating with the computer in fast boot mode. So awesome there. Let's go ahead now, fast boot dash I 0x2c3f. And now, and now, what we're going to go ahead and do is type in OEM unlock. Okay, perfect. On now on your Robin, it says unlock bootloader. Unlocking the bootloader, um, it's gonna 
able to be basically install a custom operating system and OS. Um, do you want to unlock the bootloader and wipe the phone? Yes or no. Just use your volume up or down, select. This is basically like the last warning. Like, are you sure you want to do this? Um, it is going to factory reset your phone. So what we're going to go ahead and do is select yes. All right. And that is done. So that little message that popped up before, um, that is basically now going to come up every single time when your phone reboots. There's no way to get rid of that, unfortunately. Um, now you can see that the phone is erasing. See this this screen right here. It's that's going to come up every single time when you reboot your phone. So when you just get by, bypass it, just press the power button once and it will go to the next screen. If you wait too long to press it, it's going to stay at the screen just for a couple seconds longer. So don't be worried about it. It will boot up. And now your bootloader is unlocked. So fantastic. Congratulations. Now we can go ahead and flash um, TWRP onto your Nextbit Robin. And if you want to, flash a uh, custom ROM or even root your device. So anyways, if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment down below, like the video as well, and thanks for watching. Hopefully this was helpful and it was painless uh, compared to the Redmi Note 4 or even the um, Zoop Z2. Piece of cake. So thanks again for watching. I will see you all in the next one. Take care.